You've probably spat out watermelon seeds your entire life. But what if I told you those tiny black dots you've been throwing away could actually help your heart, your blood sugar, your immune system, even your fertility? Today, I'm going to reveal the science-backed truth about watermelon seeds and why spitting them out might be one of the biggest missed health opportunities in your diet. As a doctor with over 15 years of clinical experience, I understand how important it is to give advice backed by real science. That's why I've included all the references in the description so you can check them yourself and explore the research firsthand. Let's get started. Watermelon is already one of the healthiest fruits on the planet. It's 92% water, packed with vitamin C, loaded with lycopene and free from cholesterol. But hiding in plain sight are its seeds, usually discarded or ignored. Yet those little seeds are nutritional powerhouses and they're far more than a crunchy inconvenience. Let's start with what they contain. Watermelon seeds are about 25 to 35% protein. That's right, just a handful of them gives you the same protein content as an egg. They also contain up to 50% healthy fats, mostly unsaturated, specifically linoleic acid and oleic acid, the same kinds of fats found in olive oil and avocados. They're rich in magnesium, zinc, iron, phosphorus, potassium, and manganese, key minerals for brain function energy production, and immune defense. On top of that, they carry antioxidants like phenolic acids, flavonoids, carotenoids, and even traces of vitamin E, all of which help protect our cells from inflammation and premature aging. But that's just the beginning. Watermelon seed oil has been shown to rival and even surpass olive and cotton seed oil in terms of yield and nutritional quality. It's not just good for you, it's efficient and sustainable. In fact, it's now being studied as a viable ingredient in functional foods, nutraceuticals, and even natural skincare products. Now, you might be wondering, what does this mean in practical health terms? Let's break it down into real-world benefits, all supported by clinical and laboratory studies. First, watermelon seeds are powerful antioxidants. They fight oxidative stress, the cellular damage that accelerates aging and underlies diseases like cancer, dementia, and heart disease. In lab studies, watermelon seed extracts achieved DPPH scavenging scores of up to 94%. That's a technical way of saying they're really good at neutralizing free radicals, those unstable molecules that damage DNA, proteins, and fats in our bodies. Second, they're antimicrobial. Watermelon seed extracts have been shown to inhibit common pathogens like E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, and even some strains of fungi. Why does this matter? Because these bioactive compounds could be used in natural food preservation, or even someday as alternatives to conventional antibiotics, especially as resistance becomes a global crisis. Third, they have anti-inflammatory properties. The same compounds that reduce oxidative stress also help calm inflammation, something we now know is at the root of nearly every chronic disease, from arthritis to cancer. In fact, in studies using methanolic extracts of watermelon seeds, their anti-inflammatory activity was almost comparable to aspirin. And unlike aspirin, they don't carry the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding. Next, let's talk about blood sugar. In diabetic animal models, watermelon seed extracts reduced blood glucose levels, improved insulin sensitivity, and regulated the enzymes alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase. These are the same enzymes targeted by many modern diabetes medications. If you're watching your blood sugar, watermelon seeds could be an easy, natural addition to help with regulation, though of course, they don't replace medical treatment. Fifth, cardiovascular health. The amino acids citrulline and arginine, both found in watermelon seeds, are precursors to nitric oxide, a molecule that dilates blood vessels, lowers blood pressure, and improves blood flow. These same amino acids are found in expensive pre-workout supplements. But in watermelon, you get them naturally, along with unsaturated fats and plant sterols, which help manage cholesterol. Amazingly, these benefits aren't just theoretical. Human trials using watermelon extract have shown measurable drops in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure in prehypertensive adults. While those studies primarily used flesh extract, seeds contain many of the same bioactive compounds, particularly citrulline, arginine, and phenolic compounds. And then there's reproductive health. 
In male fertility studies, watermelon seed extract improved sperm count, motility, and viability in rats. That's right, these little seeds may support testicular antioxidant status and even protect against oxidative damage in reproductive cells. Arginine and zinc, both present in watermelon seeds, are critical for healthy sperm production and testosterone regulation. Still not convinced? Let's move on to the brain. Lycopene, most famous for its presence in tomatoes, is also found in watermelon flesh and seeds. It's been shown to cross the blood-brain barrier where it acts as a neuroprotective antioxidant. In animal models of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, lycopene reduced cellular damage, improved memory, and slowed down cognitive decline. Watermelon seeds also contain other neuroprotective flavonoids and carotenoids, which may help guard against age-related neurological conditions. And if that's not enough, consider this. Watermelon seed oil has shown protective effects on the liver in models of alcohol-induced damage. It reduces oxidative stress markers like AST and ALT, boosts antioxidant enzymes like catalase and superoxide dismutase, and helps restore liver cell function. These effects have been replicated in studies involving acetaminophen-induced liver toxicity and even fatty liver disease models. It gets better. Watermelon seeds have been studied for their role in stomach ulcer protection. In rats exposed to stress-induced ulcers, seed extract reduced gastric lesions significantly, performing almost as well as ranitidine and omeprazole. The protective mechanism involves strengthening the mucosal barrier and reducing oxidative damage to the stomach lining. Let's not forget antimicrobial activity. In lab tests, both aqueous and methanolic extracts of watermelon seeds inhibited growth of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. This isn't just theory. Watermelon seed flour and oil are now being explored as natural preservatives and antimicrobial agents in food safety research. You might now be wondering, how do I actually eat them? First of all, watermelon seeds are absolutely safe to eat when chewed or cooked. You can. Roast them in the oven with a little sea salt. Blend them into smoothies. Soak and sprout them for enhanced digestibility. Grind them into flour for baking. Or extract oil from them for cooking or salad dressings. But let's talk practicality. How much do you need to eat to get benefits? You don't need to consume them by the bowlful. Even a tablespoon or two per day provides notable amounts of protein, magnesium and beneficial fats. As always, moderation is key. Large-scale rat studies that raised red flags involved extreme doses, up to 5% of body weight in seeds every single day. That's equivalent to hundreds of grams a day in humans, not something anyone realistically eats. So unless you're living on watermelon seeds alone, you're safe. Beyond health, there's a bigger reason to pay attention to watermelon seeds. Every year, millions of tons of watermelon seeds are thrown away globally. They're treated as agricultural waste, despite their high oil yield, protein content, and bioactive profile. By revalorizing these seeds, we're not just improving our health, we're reducing food waste and contributing to a more sustainable, circular economy. These seeds could become part of food supplements, protein flours, natural oils, even skincare products. And the applications are already happening. In parts of Africa and Asia, watermelon seeds are toasted and eaten as snacks. Watermelon seed flour has been used to make high-protein biscuits and gluten-free breads. In Nigeria, they're used in traditional dishes and valued for their amino acid content. Watermelon seed milk is now being studied as an alternative to dairy milk with promising nutritional properties. In fact, Products made from watermelon seed milk have been shown to contain more fiber, more antioxidants, and higher bioactive potential than traditional cow's milk yogurt. Ice cream, cookies, and even bread fortified with watermelon seed flour have demonstrated improved nutritional profiles, higher protein content, and acceptable taste in trials. We often chase exotic superfoods from across the globe, but sometimes the most powerful ingredients are the ones we're already holding, if only we stopped spitting them out. So next time you slice open a watermelon, I challenge you, don't just enjoy the sweet flesh. Look closer, chew those seeds, roast them, 
Blend them, use them, because they're not waste, they're wellness. Watermelon seeds are edible, powerful, and deeply underappreciated. I'm Dr. KDM, and if you learned something new today or you're ready to give watermelon seeds a second chance, drop a like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still spits them out. And if you have enjoyed this video, why not check out this video on the top left on more tips on living a longer, healthier life.